What is up guys, it is your boy Instinct, and welcome back to another Galactic Legend Hunt video. Um, before we get started today, I want to just apologize for uh, the three videos that were uploaded yesterday morning. I decided, I recorded three videos and didn't realize apparently that there was no gameplay to it. So usually when you click here, it should show your, whatever you're recording, I guess, and it didn't, I guess, apparently, and I just wasn't paying attention. Um, so, that footage kind of, you know, didn't have any gameplay. So we're going to hope today that this one will have complete footage. It scares me because, like, my screen, like, flashes, like, black for a minute, and then I've looked back at some of the recordings and seen that. It seems to do that for, like, a minute or so sometimes. Uh, hopefully that won't happen today. But, in case, I'm going to record one video, then check the video, and if something goes wrong, then I don't know. Alright, so, for today we get 50 crystals, and 50 of these T6 drain droids. I am going to go over our roster here, because it's going to be very important to see what we did, because the gameplay didn't record. Um, rank 9,958. Yeah, that's fun. So we only got 100 of these squatterina tokens, but that's okay. And then we're rank 14 in the guild activity rewards, so we got 59 of these guild tokens as well. So we'll go ahead and claim that. Um, we go down to objectives here. What else do we have? Achievements. Log in seven times, get another Vader shard. Which we actually unlocked Vader, which I'll go over here now. Um, so, our roster looks a little different. Um, one, we're level 32, so we've got these guys up to level 32. Uh, they're both gear 2. We actually have the first order executioner unlocked. Um, we got some other stuff coming to work. I think we got first order stormtrooper in the quest or in a uh, bronze pack or something there. We got two of that. Uh, we got another batch of first order officer shards. Um, we unlocked Darth Vader. And we had done all of the events for... Um, what you might call it? we done all the uh, character events, so we had Boss Nass, Tarpals, uh, the Phalanx, I think you call it, and Maroc. We have all those characters ready to activate, go to three stars. We have Zeb from, I think, a quest of some sort, ready to go, activate, uh, and the Boombadier is ready to go up uh, two star levels there. Uh, we did level up quite a bit to level 32, 34, so... We have a uh, squad arena now, so we're trying to push forward in that uh, as well. Make sure we're ready to go. So it's currently 12.47, so let's see, 57, so 12.17 is when I'll try to wrap this one up, I guess. We might go a little bit longer, but we've got some energy. we got a lot of stuff to do. So let's go ahead and, I guess, open our bronzium there. Hopefully all this gameplay is recording. If not, I'm going to punch somebody in the face. Not literally. I mean, I'm just going to punch myself in the face, most likely. All right. Let's get our credit shipments here, because these are going to be very, very useful. We don't have enough any there. This is not going to get us anything. Otherwise, I'd buy this little pack right here. And Squad Arena, we don't have enough uh, just yet. But also in Squad Arena, there's not exactly anybody in here that we uh, need for the first order, but we're going to be spending our our stuff on Kane and Jairus right now because he falls under the Rebel faction and we have to get uh, Palpatine unlocked and at 7 stars and ready to go and stuff like that. So, we're going to be working on some Rebels, uh, hopefully as time goes across too. Okay, open a data pack in the store, boom, three store shipments, done. Now we have to do three uh, squad arena battles, so we're going to go ahead and do our first one right now. Um... Ideally, we want to push as far as we can, somewhere it's under the 10,000 mark. If we can push under 10,000, this is a hyperdrive bundle right there. Don't ever even trust that. Um, this is only a. That's just not worth it. A lot of these battles are going to be too difficult. Um, we'll try fighting this team here. I don't think it pushes us under that 10,000 mark that I'm saying we need to get to, but we'll try fighting it. Alright, so let's do boom, 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 boom. There we go. Let's try this. 
as much as we can. Gonna have mixed match because we don't have, you know, our full first order team. We don't have everybody geared up and ready to go. You can see this is probably gonna end up going sideways, but we're gonna try our best. I don't know why, we're just doing like terrible and squatter, you know, on this account for some reason. Everybody just seems to be way better than we are. I'm not sure exactly why, but they all just seem to be better. Okay. Get a heal on Kylo. Increases max health. Come on. We took one down. Okay. This is this is going great. I love this. Come on. Just keep doing damage. Get stunned. There goes our Vader. Oh come on, you couldn't finish that? Like really man? Come on. There that goes, go for their Phasma. We're just not doing great. I don't know what is going on, this squad arena is just... It's not giving us an easy time for some reason. I feel like I'm constantly having problems in the few squad arena matches we did the, uh, yesterday. I feel like I'm just constantly having problems in this squad arena compared to other ones I've had. I do pretty okay. But this time we can't even get past like 11,000. And that's not good. That means we're getting really crappy rewards. Um, Alright, so there's that one done. Let's see. Challenges. So today for challenges is actually everything. It's Sunday, so you have every single challenge that we could think of. Uh, look. Hey, we got a gear piece somewhere. I will take that. Thank you very much. I'm going to level these guys up to level 34. Just like so. I know we need to push forward in some battles and do that because we are not able to get gear pieces for these guys and we need to. I'm going to level these guys up because I feel like that might be part of our problem is we're just not leveling up people. But I also feel like our gear problem, our gear is a big problem for some reason. It's like very hard for us to do anything. I feel like our gear is lacking compared to everybody else that we've seen in Squad Arena so far. Um, okay. Let's equip anything that looks like it's not gonna go on there. And we'll do Vader. Vader, how is your gear? Let's see. What do you need here? Let's find this for you. Why not? Let's just get this real quickly here. I was going to say real quickly, but we're not even getting it. There we go. Already did my three light side battles. Woo! Alright, now let's get him to gear two. I'll upgrade these abilities to level two. Alright. Hopefully that helped a little bit. If not, then oh well. Uh, three light side battles. Fill a character's gear slot and train a single character. Train five characters level 32. Looky there, two first order stormtrooper shards. So now we need, I think, 21 or something like that to get them unlocked. So take a little bit more work, but uh, one thing I actually do want to do is events, because we need to uh, clear up these two events. We did these in the last video, but you guys didn't get to see those, unfortunately. So hopefully we'll be able to see these ones. So I want to be able to do this. Um, if that's all we're going to be able to do today, then it's going to be a little annoying, but we'll start with the Rebels basic training here. It's just going to show us how to use the, or some of the Rebel units here, which we'll just get it out of the way, because, you know, why not? Uh, good defense leads to a great offense. I'll show you how. Use Obi-Wan Kenobi's ability to vote a protector to gain taunt and provide defense up to allies. Now use Princess Leia's Rebel Tactics to increase her offense power with stealth and critical damage up. Okay. Thanks to Devoted Protector from Obi-Wan Kenobi, your team received minimal damage. Fire away with Princess, uh, Princess Leia's basic ability, Hair Trigger. Finish this sequence by using Obi-Wan Kenobi's ability, Mind Tricks, to inflict debuffs on the enemy team. By combining the strengths of Princess Leia and Obi-Wan Kenobi, you were able to change the combat in your favor. Continue to utilize the powerful synergy between these two rebel allies to win this fight. 
Not very difficult to do, so let's just get it out of the way. Constantly want to keep Princess Leia under stealth. And I'm hoping want to take your damage here. There we go. Very simple, very easy. Not too difficult, right? Let me go to tier 2. We're not going to get any rewards for these until we get to the last tier. So, now, no rewards. Uh, Han Solo can act first at the start of each encounter. Thanks to his unique ability, shoots first. Begin by using quick draw to stun the enemy. Like so. Use Commander Luke Skywalker's ability to use the Force to attack and dispel taunt from the Stormtrooper. Enhance Han Solo's next attack by using Never Tell Me the Odds. Use Deadeye to deal significant damage and gain turn. Now you can follow up with another attack by using Quick Draw. Uh, you gained a huge lead on this encounter by disrupting the enemy lineup. Now go and finish the fight. We'll just take him out very quickly there. Boom. That uh, teaches us how to use CLS, Commander Luke Skywalker, and uh, Basic Han Solo. Alright, Tier 3. That PC is being very loud underneath my desk here, and I don't know why it's being so loud. I have a feeling it's about to blow up or something. Uh, R2-D2 can become a phenomenal ally in battle when used effectively. Start by using the special ability smoke screen. Now select Obi-Wan Kenobi to gain foresight and advantage. Meanwhile, other allies receive stealth, which will now greatly benefit Princess Leia. Use Rebel Tactics. Using Rebel Tactics will now provide her with offense up, foresight, and double turn meter gain. Which is very nice. With such minimal setup, she can use her hair trigger at maximum potential right away. Bye, Vader. I love how he screams no when he dies. Uh, using Devoted Protector will work really well with foresight and advantage from earlier. R2-D2 is not without attacking abilities. Use an improvise to deal damage and apply the burning debuff. Which I believe is kind of like damage over time. With the effective use of R2-D2, you're well on your way to winning this fight. I think... Takes damage each turn and has reduced chance to evade, does not stack. Okay, so it's kind of like damage over time. Pretty much. At least that's what I'd say it is. Okay, there we go. Tier 3 is down. So this just basically teaches you how to use uh, some of the rebels in a team and all that whatnot. Alright, we got two more tiers. Tier 4. Go right in. Get these out of the way. So that we don't have to do them later, because they've kind of just been sitting here for like a few uh, episodes and whatnot. Let's take a look at the Zeta abilities of your Rebel team. R2-D2's unique ability, Combat Analysis, allows light side allies to dispel their debuffs whenever they score a critical hit. The Zeta level of Han Solo is unique, shoots first, but will have Han attack if he uses his basic attack first on his turn. The Zeta level for Princess Leia is unique against all odds, allows her to recover pro protection, almost said protein, protection, and health. Now combine the Zeta abilities of your Rebel Squad to win this fight. Gotcha. While he's stunned, we're gonna go to Vader. Drop the stealth. Uh, we're actually gonna put R2-D2 with the stuff. And then we're gonna drop this. We're gonna get the buffs. Vader comes right out. We're gonna go for Vader. Pop the improvised burning. Boom. Boom. Then we go for Palpatine. Give him a little stun, and boom, there's a stun there, and finish him off, just like so. Wait. Now, I believe the last tier here will allow us to get some rewards from it. If we look at possible rewards, yep, we can get some shards here, which is nice. Let's hop on in. We got the full team this time, which is very nice, very, very nice. We're going to learn how to use the full team together. Although this isn't the ideal, you know, CLS squad you want. You usually want Chewbacca and, uh, I think Chew 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 which is Chewbacca and 3P with, uh, C3P on the back, and then, uh, you want C3PO by himself. Uh, let's use the lessons of your basic training and combine the abilities of the Rebel squad. Start by using Quick Draw to stun the enemy. Now use Smoke Screen and select Obi-Wan Kenobi. Enhance the attack of your allies would never tell me the odds. Boost Princess Leia's offensive capabilities further with Rebel Tactics. Attack the enemy with air trigger to deal some damage. Then strike with use of force and a spell taunt from the Stormtrooper. Use Deadeye to deal significant damage and gain turn. Follow up the next attack with Quick Draw. 
and damage the enemy team with improvise and apply the burning debuff. Finally, protect your squad by using Obi-Wan Kenobi's Devoted Protector. The Rebel team is a formidable squad that combines offensive, offense, defense, supportive uh, abilities, and disruptive attacks. Now use these abilities together to ensure your victory in this battle. Sure will. There we go. Let's go for Vader. Bye bye. And last but not least, we go for Grand Admiral Thrawn. Bop. Drop some debuffs. Boom. Boom. And boom. There we go. Sweet. So from that, we get 25 Princess Leia shards, which allows us to promote her. I think we already had her unlocked at some point. I'm not sure where from. And we get 25 Stormtrooper Han shards, which we need three more to actually get him unlocked which is sweet there we go and it's gonna say the expense expired and now we have a advanced event which we'll go over here in a second but i think now we need to start spending some energy and stuff so maybe not do all the events today but we'll knock that one out we need to do all this crap too so let's take princess leia here let's promote her to three stars boom there we go droids don't take vacations promote protocol we get some more stuff there. Okay, next up we got Youngin Boomadir here. We'll promote him to three stars and then four stars. Just like so. Then we can activate Boss Nass. I guess I didn't do this in the last episode, which is weird, but I guess I might have been in a hurry and then saw that the footage corrupted and was kind of upset, but whatever. And then we can promote. La 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 la. Speak. Promote him to a three star. Yeah, I'm just like that right now. I'm like, I need to be able to learn how to speak. And we got uh, Captain Tarpaws here. Very, very nice. He comes at a two star. Promote him to three. He's gonna take some of our credits down. I don't know if it's evidently worth it. Then we have Zeb here. I think we got from a quest that we completed at some point. There we go. Take that. Comes at a two star. He stays there. Then we have the Gungan Phalanx, I think is how you say it. I think I learned how to say it now. I hope I'm right. If I'm wrong, please don't slander me. Just tell me the correct pronunciation, but don't be mean. And then we can promote him as well to a three star. And then... We have Merrick, I think is how you say it. I think I said Maroc before, but I think it's Merrick is how you actually pronounce it. So there we go. He comes out of two star. And then you can promote him to three. Just like so. I think that's everybody. Yep. Sweet. That is that. We got all those characters now. Unlocked, promoted, all that nonsense. Uh, I do need to farm Kylo here. Just let me get my uh, five farm in here. Let's go ahead and do that. We got six. I mean, not a bad number. We'll take it. Let's see. Looks like we got a bunch of objectives. Finish five hard battles. Boom. Level 35. And then finish ten battles. Got a new quest somewhere here. Reach level 40. Unlock Galactic War, win three battles in Galactic War. Uh, reach level 40 to unlock Galactic War, a new game mode with a series of battles against other player squads. Any hollow table player squad could come up as your foe. We got some achievements. Collect nine light side characters, collect 11 light side characters, and promote 10 characters. So, our Vader is coming along uh, a little bit there. Making his way through. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Now, I believe we did hit level five, 35, which means we can technically continue, I believe, with Cantina Battles. I think we can. Yep, let's knock it out another squad arena here. Um, I really just want to push into that 10,000 mark. So let's do... Let's do this one. I guess we need to get the easy wins while we can. Not try to make it more difficult, if that makes sense. <coughs> 
I feel like the more the more difficult we make it now, you know, it's just gonna be a mess. So if we try to slowly push up, maybe we can get there. All right, let's go. Sun here. There's an AOE right off the rip. AOE from Vader. Get the ability blocks and offense down. Boom. There we go. And take down Ahsoka. On to Anakin. Boom. Just a few more hits. Or quite a few more hits here. He should be down. Taking a little bit, but we're getting there. Just keep hitting him. There we go. So if we can slowly move up, maybe that's what we need to do. Move up as much as we can. There we go. 960 spots away from 10,000. Okay. What to do, what to do. Um, I guess let's do challenges. We need to do those. Uh, so let's do tier 1 of this, see if we can do that. Not gonna borrow those guys, because they are a little too overpowered. Uh, yep, take that Chewbacca, sure. Let's go, not you, I'm gonna do Luke, Ben, then you, then these two. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Well, I guess we'll stun here. Like so. These are level 15. This shouldn't be too difficult. Almost to the point I can probably put this on auto. Let it run itself. At least till we get to the last wave. I can just let it run itself here. Won't be very difficult. Because these is only the first tier, so they're level 15. So. There we go. Let me turn it off auto. I wanna. There we go. There. I'm just gonna mainly go for Boba Fett here. Even though he's got these healing droids. We're still just gonna go for him because I think I can take him out before that happens. Yep, there you go. Okay, sweet. That's the first tier of the training droids done. I will not do that. Alright, let's see if we can do the second one. Might need to level my characters up, because I don't know if we just unlocked this or if we've had these unlocked, but let's see if we can do it without it. We'll see. So last one was 15. Uh, this one, 25. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. Um, drop stun here for the AoE, because we borrowed a Kylo Ren, it seems like. I didn't even see that. We borrowed somebody else's Kylo Ren. Which hopefully we'll have sometime soon, maybe. I don't know. We need to get Kylo Ren unlocked, because of course he's going to meet our, be our, one of our SLKR requirements. I think he has to go to Relic 7, as well as Kylo Ren and Mass. I think both of them have to go to Relic 7. So, better to, you know, think about that plan earlier. Our Royal Guard's just going to want to take anybody out if they don't have uh, what do you call it? They get below half. My rogue guard here is just going to end up taunting, so I guess we might as well take him out first ideally. There we go. And then we can work on everybody else. A halt for a little bit of healing there. Okay, there's you. Come on now. You'll die of damage over time, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Boom, and last but not least, there we go, wave three. Alright, let's see. Ideally, I probably should take out the healing droids, so I'll do that, or try to, at the least. Get some healing there. Come on. Or damage. Can you take that out? Not quite, but you still get some turn meter. Okay. I don't know why I keep halting when I know it's not gonna do anything. That one's just restraining. Okay, hold up. I'm not too worried about the restraining droids. I mean, I'm not even sure what they exactly do, but I'm not too worried about it. They just maybe give us offense down or something, is that what it did? I'm not sure. But 
Let's see if we can take down Boba Fett. Come on. Big damage, big damage. Get him low enough, he'll die damn near the time anyway. Oh, there we go. Vader with the coal, Vader with the coal. Alright, there we go. That is done. So we'll just send that tier right there. And we got credits. Let's see if we can do the second one here. It seems like we'd already done the first one. Let's borrow this Grand Moff Tarkin. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Our dark side is very, very looking good right now. Light side, not so much, but we're trying to work on our dark side because first order is the main, you know, thing here. Okay, drop that. Boom. These are also level 25s. Maybe he'll die of damage over time. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can maybe hit you there. Come on. There we go. Drop the AoE. There we go, and boom. We've won down. Nice and easy. This guy can actually heal, can he? So we want to take down, I think, this guy first, because I think he has a heal. I could be wrong, but... For some reason, I want to say that one has a heal over the other ones. Okay. There we go. Just keep knocking him down. One by one, they will fall. Oh, there we go. And the last wave here, Cad Bane. Let's see. You got restraining droids, I'm not going to worry about them. Get some turn meter there. Debuffs. Get your max health. I keep halting like it's going to do something. More debuffs. It's just the same. Get a little AoE. Get a little bit of health back there. Chill with the counter attack. Okay. Some damage over time. It's all on Kylo. Cole. There we go. Sweet. There is tier two of the credits, I think that one was. Yep, sweet. We love to get our credits. Credits are very good. We'll send that. Are we able to do let's see. We've already done a building materials think yesterday, so go ahead and send that. Then we have all of these. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do them. This one definitely not. That's what healers and supports. Uh, this is tanks, I think. I mean, I don't think so. I need to level some other people up if I want to do these. This one. Probably. I could probably do this one for sure. We'll try it. This one just seems like it's a little bit easier. Boom, 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 and boom. We'll do that. That'll work. We'll see if I can do this one. And then if I... I probably should level up to do the other ones. Right now I've got a lot of stuff going on. I can't record multiple videos of this a day, so I'm trying to get as much of these done. So I'm tired of... I don't really like where I have to, or when I have to record like three, two or three videos per day. Kind of would just like to do one and then, you know, be done for the day and come back to do another one later. I don't really like when I have to do two or three per day. But so much energy and all the got stuff we got right now is kind of, it's kind of hard to keep it all, you know, in just one episode. We're trying to get through all this it's kind of it's mainly because we're in the beginning of the game so it all just kind of um takes longer it so everything comes a lot quicker like your energy and all that no level ups that all comes quicker but when we start leveling up a lot more it's gonna be a lot longer to when we swing gaps of leveling up and getting xp and you know leveling up characters so i'd hope it goes a little quicker at that point so Hopefully we'll be alright. There we go, finish Veers. Let's go from Tarkin now. This one is not much of a problem. Because we have quite a few attackers already leveled up to a decent point, so... Isn't much of a problem. Just 
keep attacking until he goes down. Very simple. There we go. Our journey to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is coming along. Decently smooth, I hope. Okay, get some gear pieces there. Uh, we're not going to be able to... So let's just sim that up. We'll get a bunch of these, so... That is nicely done there. Okay. Objectives. Oh, earn 5 million total credits. Boom. More Vader shards and finish two challenges. Alright, let's do our last squad arena here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can probably beat this. I mean, I don't see why I couldn't. If I can't, I'm terrible at this game, but... Hopefully I'd be able to beat it. Okay, get rid of the taunt there. Um, you're actually not a bad... Although, oh, Ben is like, super weak. Maybe we should get old Ben out first. Considering how weak he is. Then I'm actually gonna go for Chopper. Here's some of those buffs. Come on now. Maybe I should go for some of the weaker... Yeah, you know, let me go for Anakin, because he's a little weaker. Well, I feel like I'm not doing any damage right now. Okay, get some dots. Damage over time is what this stands for, if you don't know. Okay, it's all on Kylo now. Okay, Kanan and Chopper both have a taunt. I'm gonna actually go for a Chopper there. Okay. Get rid of Kanan's taunt with a stun there. Okay, there goes Executioner. Then they lose Anakin. Go for Ezra. He's gonna have those uh, bonus attacks, which are not very fun. Okay, there we go. And last but not least, we got Kanan just to knock out now. Well, Ben, we don't got time for you to be missing your attacks. I yeah, probably shouldn't halt because every time he gets a debuff. Uh, one of the things that Kane has, I think, is so unique is every time he gets a debuff, uh, he actually, um, heals. So, probably better to try not to put debuffs on him and just take him out. Like so. Sweet. That is just in time, so I'm probably gonna have to do another video after this, but I'm gonna check the recording to make sure it actually showed gameplay, because if not, then I'm gonna have to figure everything out. And probably, you know, sucker punched myself in the throat or something. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and claim that. Got a few more dailies I'd like to get done. in the next one. Let's see. We have enough squatter in here to get Kane and Jairus. There we go. We can actually get him unlocked as well. So let's do that, because we'll need rebels. So there'll be one rebel we can use to get Palpatine. Which we're gonna need to get Palpatine seven stars before we can drop the rebels. We could probably use Phoenix to get Palpatine, which then we can get Thrawn as well from that. So I probably could build up Phoenix. We've got Kanan and Zeb already here. Though I could do the new Captain Rex, because I heard he's apparently good with Phoenix. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy another episode of Galactic Legend Hunt, hopefully. I'm about to go check and see, you know, if it actually recorded the gameplay. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, guys.